Uh, we're just leaving Robertson Lake now. I quit right at six o'clock on the dot. I didn't catch any more. I just caught the two pike, so I am very, very happy. Although I, I couldn't get the boat out and keep myself dry. Time to dig the hip waders out. The water was still actually pretty warm. I could have swum in that water. Somebody was swimming. They, uh, they came down to the beach, saw them swim, uh, and then they climbed back out on the picnic table. So water uh, at the far end where it's really deep, at least to the top, you know, three, four feet, which is what my sonar measures, it was uh, 67 degrees. So I swam in Lake Huron water at 67. So that's not too bad. Just gonna have a look here. Make sure that, uh... yep, everything's good. Yeah, so there we are, folks. I'm really happy about that. I just got to lift you a little bit. Looks like my face is out of the picture there. So, anyhow, yeah, I'm really happy. Boat ran beautifully. Not even a hiccup. I uh, ran her right up to uh, 30 miles an hour, which is pretty much where she tips out now. Uh, on a day like that with no wind and flat water. So, believe me, 30 miles an hour and this thing 16 foot screaming down the lake. Oh, I'm supposed to have towing on. Forgot about that. Um, yeah, and no problem. I mean, I could run her right down to 1.5 miles an hour per trolling, and I averaged about two. I ran her up to two and a half, even three miles an hour, and uh, motors like no problem whatsoever. So, like True said, if it's running good, don't don't worry about it. But it does need a new skeg, um, I think, and but it definitely needs a um, it needs a, uh, a a new prop. There's no vibration or anything, and she's running great. But the prop's got lots of dings in it, and it's it's time to replace it. So be a good time to pull that apart, make everything, make sure everything's greased and working well. And so I'll get true to to do that, but I'll have to. Uh, see about buying a prop for it probably looking at $150 I would expect at least oh this is I'm warning the uh, the um, uh, Amazon guys to be careful because you know this is the time of year the deer start to go on the move eh? here I am screaming around well I wasn't screaming but I, I was not you know, focused because I was going around a corner, so like now. Now, this isn't where a deer would come out, but it will after we go through these corners here. And then they all go into hiding when the hunters uh, come out. <laughs> picture there. Ah, for Christ's sakes. Okay, don't touch it, just leave it like it is. So, I, I, I headed back from the far end of the lake. Uh, I ran it at 20, like I said, I ran it at 30, and so it took me from that end of the lake, unload it, I had to, I put it on once, but it wasn't quite right, so I had to back it in, and then it came on right, and then, uh, so I don't have those sidebars, and that's another thing I can get True to put on there for me, make my life a lot easier, but uh, it's 626, and we've already been on the road, what, four minutes, so pretty much 20 after 6. So 20 minutes from the far end of the lake, back to shore, load and go. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, as far as I'm concerned. So, I think I'm going to edit this tonight. I'm going to load it up in the computer. I'm going to edit it tonight, and I'm going to put it up tonight. There we go. I want to film. i got to film for the uh, for the gumbo, too, eh? So, 
you know. Okay. I think we're okay. Gonna go back to almost speed limit now. I'm in no hurry. I mean, I'm enjoying this. This is, you know, this is one of the reasons I, you know, I'm gonna regret. I know Parmi's gonna regret selling here and leaving because I really do love it here. I mean, you know, raised here. And as I've said before, I mean, when my mom's gone, I'm the last one standing of our family in Canada. And uh, so, I mean, that's, I'm the last one on our land. But it's time to go to somebody new. Hopefully somebody good about land and stuff, which out here, most people when they buy out here, they're already got it of a mindset. I mean, nobody's gonna come and build a subdivision on that 100 acres, you couldn't anyways, but I mean, nobody's gonna do that, they buy out here. They're buying out here to get away. So, I just wanna get further away and more water closer. Like, if I walk down my my uh, deck, boom, I'm in the water kind of deal. I wanna be able to look at water, and then when it freezes, I wanna be able to walk out and do ice fishing, not have to go too far. You know. Anyway, that's, one way of doing things. But the bus schoolie life thing really attracts me as well. So. My flip flops are soaked. Now, may need a washing. Actually, I need a new pair is what I need. These are worn out. It's time. But yeah, I guess it's time to start carrying the hip waders. Gonna get cold enough too soon enough that I'm gonna want to wear them anyways, you know, because they're just that extra warmth when you're in the boat. Because now I'm in the mood to fish, so now it's like right up until I uh, ice uh, first ice, and then I'm done. We'll pull the boat to the back. I gotta buy a cover for it too. I, you know, now it's painted inside, and then you know, True's gonna be working on it. Um, I'm not sure how uh, we're gonna do that, but. Um, you know, sat on my screen. I can't see something there. Oh, it's not supposed to be there, I guess. I'm just seeing like a pause button. Well, this is my friends that rescued me here the other day, Thomas's. Matt, I think he said, said his name is Paul, too. I don't see anybody outside. I'm not going to beep. Anyway. It was a big help because we could, we were able to roll the ATV. Like, he had, like, right by his barn. I mean, it's made for that. You get back the tray or back a pickup truck right to the back. And it's, like, even, like, just a little lip to, to roll the ATV in. So we had no trouble getting that ATV on without ramps. Imagine that, eh? And true, strapped it a different way I've never seen, but I'm going to be doing that from now on, the way he did it. There's two loops at the back of where the trailer hitch is on the bike. You loop it, and then the strap actually goes across the back of the tire on each side. So, and then you pull your, you know, your strap taut, and you can squeeze it fairly tight because it's a rubber tire with air. You don't need to, you know, bend the tire or anything stupid. But, like, that definitely makes it a lot safer and more solid, at least in my mind, anyways. And here we are, the big town of Poland. Town. Hamlet. Village. Barely a village. I call Lanark a village. So this is like, what, a hamlet or... I don't know. Happy young couple. Young. Probably back to land or off gridder types. If they're off grid. But anyway, I guarantee you they're that kind. I see them all the time on YouTube now. They film what they're doing just like I do. But everybody does their own way, right? So I like what I do my way. 
but I definitely like a lot of different people's stuff too. So I'm betting even the old church is occupied now and it never used to be. But these places up for sale shocks me. I, I've never seen so many places for sale. Now the only other thing that's happening is the people that's lived here, like my parents and everything, they're all getting to that age of dying off, just like what happened in Ireland. So these houses, the kids, some of the kids are in the city or they're gone or whatever have you, they don't want to go, they don't want to go to these places. It's not, you know, their thing. They'll sell. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Depends on what's there, you know, what the value is, and whether the house needs a lot of work or not. There's, I mean, there's a whole bunch of things. Now, with my parents, well, my mom's house, my parents' house, uh, it's all been very well maintained. So when I go to sell it, there's going to be nothing, no repairs needed, nothing. The well is checked every year by the Ministry of Ontario because we're close to a, a garbage transfer station. Water's perfect. Now the hunt camp, you can go either way in your head. As a hunt camp goes, you don't really need to do anything to it. It's, you know, as a hunt camp goes, it's, you know, I live in it, right? But if somebody wants to live in it full time, then I wouldn't say, like, I put up with a lot, you need somebody like me or somebody like a, you know, like a true or somebody to move into that. So I don't know. I mean, anyways, you know what? It ain't my problem. Whoever buys it, there you go, man. You got yourself a good deal here. And I'm heading to the highways. Point myself west see where I wind up. No, definitely Lake Huron's going to be in between. Cool, spent a whole summer in the campground. I talked to Lisa about that. Just parking, like get that bus or whatever, and then just park it for a whole summer at the campground. That would be fun. chain quad so I can go anywhere get groceries or whatever so I don't have to break down the bus you know what I mean like take everything down just leave it travel with the ATV so one thing I want to talk to True about is how can we make it easy to use the bus to launch the boat that's the only thing the only other way for me to do it would be a little bit complicated would be is to drive the bus hopefully I mean like for a small place I'm not gonna get in there with the bus and the boat but like for a, like a place like that I could come in with the bus unload the ATV from the back hook it up and then launch the boat with the ATV that would be the only thing but that's a bit complicated right but I guess it's what I have to put up with to have a bus now I'm thinking, okay, it shouldn't be that hard anyways with the bus, and it's going to be further back than average because the ATV carrier is going to be in between. So as long as I have backup cameras, I'm good to go. We're just not going to get into like that tiny little boat launch at Mississauga Lake. But see there, what I would do is I would bring the ATV and we would park out, you know, in the in the open end where the bus could go, and then bring the ATV and the boat through the little trail down to the thing so I mean there's ways of working it out it just it'll be a little more complicated but I'm not you know I'm not going to lose my mind over it you know I'm tempted just to leave this boat hooked on and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do because you know what we're going to do eh? we're going to go fishing tomorrow man oh sorry I gotta look over there we're going fishing tomorrow but we're not going to Robertson Lake I don't know where yet I'm going to think about it I'm going to think about it 
I think I'd like to go to a deep lake and do some trolling for trout. Now, lake trout is out of season now at, uh, at, uh, um, Palmerston, so I can't go to Palmerston. I got this right. Oh, I'm gonna hit this right the first time. Yeah. A little, just a little straightener outer, and I should be good. Yeah. So I don't make myself even easier. The windows are tinted, eh? Although you wouldn't, they don't look tinted when you're walking up to it, but when you're sitting in it. There we go. Uh, that's the only thing about backing this thing. Oh, I, I backed this thing in in the, in the dark. I certainly have. Now, what am I doing here? I don't want to get too close. What am I doing here? I think I'm too far over. I might hit. Yeah, I'm way too far over, I think. Blah. I'm not going to crash into it, am I? No. No, this is no good. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, just get it over a tad. Not too much. There we go. We got to string up that other fishing rod, though, eh? That's the only thing. There, that's perfect. thing. You know what? I think that's enough. Well, folks, that's it. We've just done the, the first fishing trip in, what, three years? And I caught two pike. Can you beat that? For me? Anyway. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope these little buttons aren't showing up there. I see these little, they're supposed to disappear as I understood it. So why didn't they disappear? That's weird. They're supposed to disappear. I hope that doesn't show up in the video. That would really suck. Do all that, and then I got these little white things there. Okay, anyways, so please like, share, and subscribe. Comment. I uh, hope you enjoyed the, the thing. I've got a whole bunch of video. We're going to put up a whole bunch of it all in one shot. We'll freak everybody out because I'm in a really good mood about all this. Okay, everyone? So, uh, yeah, if you want to help out for gas or cat food or whatever you want to do for the camp, uh, paypal.com slash lad from the woods or buymeacoffee.com slash lad from the woods. Comment, comment, comment. I love it. Just be good to your fellow human. Peace, long life, and live long and prosper. Welcome back to fishing. We're gonna